OK, so here is a generic curve. And what we can see is that the curve changes as you move along the x-axis. OK, there are some properties that we can already identify. We know that the curve, for example here, if I found the gradient of the curve at that point, the gradient would be positive. So I could, if I had y equals, then I could use differentiation and then substitute in that coordinate and I should get a dy by dx that's positive. And so it's got a positive gradient. And as we move around the curve, okay, so this is still positive, 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 positive. And then we get to a point where, right there, where the gradient will be zero, okay? Where we actually have the gradient being zero, where we have this turning point. And then when we go further along, we get negative gradients, okay? And so the curve is decreasing. And then once we get along to here, we will find ourselves at another turning point and our line will be horizontal and our dy by dx will be zero again. And then from that point, we are back to increasing, okay, our positive gradient. So we can identify particular bits of this curve. And we can first of all identify that here, the curve is increasing. And then it gets to this point here. Let's identify this point clearly. And this as I referred to, is a turning point, and it's otherwise referred to as a stationary point. Okay, so that's a stationary point. And then, past that point, we get the curve decreasing, and then we get to another stationary point here. So that's a stationary point. And then it's increasing again. OK? So the way that I like to uh, explain this is that we have stationary points on the curve. Um, and what I mean by that is where could I park one of these cars, OK, uh, with the handbrake off without the car rolling down a hill, OK? And if I parked it slap bang in the middle there, right at the top of that hill, it won't, as long as it's stuck right there, it won't roll that way or that way, and so it sits stationary there. If I put it at any other point, it will roll down the hill, OK? Um, and then here it would roll down the hill, and then if I put it straight, slap bang in the middle there at that point, then the curve will be stationary there, OK? And so those two points we refer to as stationary points, these turning points. Where can I park this car without it rolling down a hill, OK? Now, I also identified that at these regions, um, the gradient of the curve um, is specifically, when it's increasing, it's positive, OK? So we could write that dy by dx at this point is greater than 0, and at this point as well. So dy by dx is greater than 0. Then, when it's decreasing, the gradient is going downwards, and so it is decreasing. So that would be less than 0. And so, if it's going from positive to negative, OK, then at some point, the gradient must be 0. OK, so that means that at the stationary point, dy by dx is 0. And knowing that, knowing that the gradient is 0 at stationary points, will allow us to find the coordinates of the turning points of a curve because we would then be able to differentiate, put what we get equal to 0, and then solve that equation. And that will find me those points.
Okay, so that is the process that we're going to be going through. And this is the mental image that you kind of need to have in your head about what it means for a curve to be increasing, decreasing, and stationary.